Shalom from Israel. This Shabbat we start the book of Shmot, the names in Hebrew, Shmot. And here we see how only 70 people, this is, was the beginning, the roots of the Jewish first family, Yaakov and his family. And when they found themselves in the Jewish ghetto in Goshen, in Egypt, here we see the first time it's written in the Tanakh, the anti-Semitism in the words of Paro. But later on, we will hear it again and again. You can trust those people. They will join the enemy once he will come from outside. They will be the enemy from inside. It's never what the truth Jews all over the place where they spread, as we see today, in uh, America, in Europe, they were part, they were good citizens, they were part of the nation, even they joined the army, even in Germany, in the First World War I, Jews were best fighters in the German army but we know it's more deep than that it's no matter what you say people have jealous at the Jewish people and therefore they blame them for anti-Egyptian and they start with uh, killing the kids and it's amazing to see that as it says, no matter how they suffer, they were fighting for bringing life to this world. And even when Paro called the two women, Shifra and Pua, who are in charge of bringing life to this world, they are not afraid from Paro. They say, we trust Hashem. We know that the future of the Jewish nation and the future of the whole world is by bringing kids and to believe that one day things will change. And they, therefore, the German army. But we know it's more deep than that. It's no matter what you say, people have jealous at the Jewish people. And therefore they blame them for anti-Egyptian. And they start with uh, killing the kids. And it's amazing to see that, as it says, no matter how they suffer, they were fighting for bringing life to this world. And even when Paro called the two women, Shifra and Pua, who are in charge of bringing life to this world, they are not afraid from Paro. They say, we trust Hashem. We know that the future of the Jewish nation and the future of the whole world is by bringing kids and to believe that one day things will change. And they, therefore, they will be the mother and the sister of Moshe, the Aharon, that they will take us out of Mitzrayim and they are going to change the world. A man has a challenge when it's tough. And then it's a question of fate. If you are not looking at Pao and you are only focus your heart to Hashem and you fear from Hashem, then you're not fear from anything. And this is exactly what Jews did all their time in the Galut. 
And there is a nice story about Admor Zaken from Chabad that he was uh, put in, put in uh, prison in the times of the Tsar in uh, Russia. And they asked him, you're not afraid? We can kill you in a moment. He says, I'm afraid from Hashem. And if you're afraid from Hashem, you're not afraid from anything else. And this is exactly what Shifra and Pua said to Paro. Shabbat Shalom from Israel.